I welcome your viewers to Solve Math on the Geocan Educational Channel. Yes, my name is Geocan and this is Solve Math. Yes, Solve Math is a platform that helps you in understanding mathematical problems and also in tackling it with ease. Yes, we try to break the questions down easier for you to understand, comprehend and appreciate those particular topics currently we are treating linear equations and it's so so interesting as the feedback has been amazing what are you also sitting down doing if you have any challenge then just hook up to solve math on the geocan educational channel yes let's move to the board and tackle this particular question what we have the instruction is find the value of n n m we are just going to find the value of m and n. And you should know that m and n, they are just values, but we don't know them. So they've been represented with variables, right? So let's go on and solve for them. So what we have, 1 over 3n minus 2 is equal to 2. Now, you write your solution. As I always say, solution simply means how you solve or tackle the question. So write the question again. 1 over 3n minus 2 is equal to 2. Okay, good. What do we have closer to 1 over 3n? You have, it's a negative 2. So with this, you just have to add 2 to both sides because it's negative. In order to eliminate that negative 2, if it were to be a positive 2, then we were going to subtract from both sides. But this time, it's what? Negative 2. So just add Two to both sides of the equation. It doesn't change anything. We'll just eliminate the negative two. So let's do that. One over three n written. You have your minus two. You have your plus two. It's equal to what? Your two plus what? Your two. I hope you got it. Good. Now we are moving to the next step. So we have one over three n negative two plus two. You are owing two. You go and pay two. It should be zero. So just ignore that. It's equal to 2 plus 2. We have 4. Good. We are the next step. Remember I told you have 1 over 3n is equal to 4. 1 over 3n. The n is a numerator. Please take note of that. And what we have here? 1. So 1 times the n is the same as what? n. Any number times 1 is the same as that number. So it can be written as n over 3. You have to do it that way for it to be easy for you. When it comes to cross multiplication, because we'll be cross multiplying. Good. So you have your equal to 4. Now, 4 standing alone is the same as 4 over 1. 5 is the same as 5 over 1. 6 is the same as 6 over 1. Good. And we are doing that in order to make our cross multiplication easier and simple. So now, n times 1 will give you n. Any number times 1 at all is that number. Any variable times 1 is that variable. V times 1 is the same as V. K times 1 is the same as OK. Good. So the N times 1 is the same as N. Now 3, 4 is what? 12. Good. So N is equal to 12. Be able to find the value of N. Now let's go back to the equation. Anywhere we find N, just fix in 12. If the right hand side is equal to what? The left hand side, then we are good. Then we are correct. So let's do that. 1 over 3 N minus 2 is equal to what? 2. Now 1 over 3 N is what? 12. Bracket simply means multiplication. This simply means multiplication. Good. You have your minus 2 is equal to 2. Now, 3 will go into 12 how many times? 3 times 1 give you 12. It's 3, 4. 12 and 3 go into itself 1. That's 3, 1, 3. So now you'll be left with all 1 over 1 into bracket. We have 4 minus 2 is equal to what? 2. Take your time and solve it. Good. Now, 1 over 1 is the same as what? 1. Any number over 1 is the same as that number. You have your bracket, your 4. Good. Minus your 2. Is equal to what? 2. Good. 1 times 4 is 4. So minus your 2. Okay? Good. It's equal to 2. Now, 4 minus 2 is what? 2. Which is equal to what? This 2. Voila. 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 The right hand side is equal to the left hand side. What it means that n is really equal to 12. It is correct. Good. Pause the video now and tackle question 2. And when we return, we shall solve it. Please tackle it. 2 over 5m plus 6 is equal to 10. It's solve math.